YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, LeBron Fimo Rapidly. I'm back with another video. Please come in and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time that I go live or I do uploads. Daddy, I'm gonna tell you Shout out to all of my new subscribers. Shout out to my returning subscribers. I've been trying to upload videos um, for the past two days. For some reason, it's some sort of wait, like as far as like getting approved. So I notice when I do videos like that, it gets approved automatically. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I hope all of y'all doing well. It's Saturday evening. I just got done out of the gym, came home, took a shower, about to go and pick me up something from the store real quick. But I wanted to come and do this video and get it uploaded, right? So... Let's talk about Cardi B, like what? And also, shout out to Nicki Minaj embarking on the Pink Friday 2 world tour yesterday. Started off in Oakland, was a success. Let's talk about like what first, and then we're going to go into the, into the Nicki Minaj. So, Cardi B announced this song, and you know, this song freestyle, right? The first thing I want to say is, is like, it's the mental gymnastics and the gaslighting that I don't like. If a song is a freestyle, it should have been over the Missy Elliott, she's a B. It should have just been freestyle. It should have been she's a B freestyle, right? But it wasn't. You owned it as your own song, like what? Then she came out with some footage showing that she recorded this song in 2023 to do what? To debunk Bia, saying that you had the record before Bia, but you still didn't rap over it better than her. And then Lady LaShore, of course, course i don't know if my video is being held up for saying that's the name of lady lashore's song but check out lady lashore over the same beat because for some reason they be funny and that something is going on as to why my my video is not going through but you didn't bring anything fresh or talented to it you think because that you can rap uh designer brands and mix it up it's like your delivery is, is the delivery was just not good and a lot of people they feel some sort of way about the way that Armand is giving it up to you I personally felt like he was being nice to you and honestly passing the passing you along like with the reviews that he used to do but I felt like he is being honest like in regards to how you giving it up and the sad thing about it is is right we shouldn't have to I'm not doing it I'm just only merely speaking on the music but people shouldn't have to tell you what to do. Either you're an artist and you get it and you improve or you get out of here. It's like you just want to be around rap for what reason? Then you got your husband shooting the music videos because the budgets are low. You guys say family ties. I say budget is budget cuts, budget cuts. And I think I think that this is a sign of writing on the wall that it's just not what people it, it, listen People, rappers like Cardi B, they got away with things in the past, like with the fake streams and all of that. Um, you can't do it no more or the label is going to be exposed. You know what I mean? Like Spotify ain't got a lot. They really streaming my music. That is a real line. It hits deep and it don't mention no names. And it's like it's 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 it's, it's so subliminal to so many people. You know, you know that. So listen, Cardi B like what? The, the, you already know the way that she delivered it. It was just not good. And her fans, is they online saying, oh, Cardi deserves better fans because people ain't streaming it at the capacity they wanted to. Spotify, she got 506,000K off of a two-minute song. And you know that they streamed it, streamed it, streamed it. And you had a video rollout. And the crazy thing about it was is that Nicki Minaj was, was 24 hours, almost 24 hours at number one on iTunes. You never hit number one on iTunes with a new song in a video beyonce texas hold him that went back to number one and you still couldn't snatch it and now this the, the country white boy he went up under it it's like cardi where's your star power where's the star power at i'm sick of people making excuses you know if this was nikki they would be clowning her Oh, she came back with a new video. This is that. See, do you know what the issue is? It's too many undercover Nikki fans in the Barty in the Barty gang. It's too many. Last night, y'all was so worried and focused on Nikki tour, and you seen how beautiful she looked. You seen how she came out and slayed that stage. You seen how she looked. That was a look. Let me tell you something. It's two words that I personally believe gives Cardi B anxiety. World tour.
Yeah, you can post cute videos. You can do songs and, you know, try to rain, rhyme uh, name brands and take the Y out of it. Take the L and LV stands for loose this. And you, you know what I'm saying? You do the same thing. It's like a one trick pony. You do the same thing over and over. Either you're tired or the ghostwriter is tired because they do the same thing. LV stands for loose what? What did she say on that other song? The only L, only L that I take is YSL. Your fans are broke, obviously, because they don't spend money on music. They don't care about YSL, baby. I think you think that you got barbs. And then in that song, uh, you said something about people imitating you. I think that you want to think like that. The girl who grew up not favored and, you know, things the girl who grew up not favored and not that popping. And you think people want to imitate you. What did they take something from a video that they seen that you probably seen from somebody else and you got it from them? Everything with you is not original. Anytime that you wear long bundles, people think of Nikki. Like, I don't know what I don't know what it is. I'm being completely honest in my approach when I say this, but it's just like. Why people be gassing the, 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 the weak stuff and acting like it's great, right? That's another thing that I wanted to bring up. Joe Buttons, he has some commentary in regards to Cardi B as well. I want to bring that up right now. Um, where did I, did I miss my space? No, I didn't miss my space. Cardi B is afraid. Yes. And I'm tired of just nobody saying it. Talk on Cardi it. B is scared to come out. Why they don't take this long to come out. They recently just Hold on. found every... Hold on, baby. Hold on. It don't take this long to come out, but guess what it is? She seen how Nikki rolled out, and she like, well, shoot. If she came out and ain't have no videos, and she did okay, I know that if I do videos or whatever the case may be, I'm on top of it. I know that if I come out and I do videos, I know that I'm going to be good. Nikki the queen. You can't compare. They done gassed you up for too long. Then people done had you on playlists. On, in my personal opinion, it used to be fake playlists. Because as a as an artist that creates music and updates it on, uploads it on uh, platforms, you get you get privy to all of the fake playlists. And I remember a lot of the fake playlists I used to see used to have your name on it. Hundreds of thousands of followers from people who create these playlists in Brazil and all over the world. Fake streams. You get streams off a of playlist like this and you, you see your you see listeners in cities that it doesn't even make sense. It don't make sense at all. I want to continue Joe Budden's uh, commentary in regards to Cardi B, though. Let's go. So tell the truth about Cardi. Every year where she plugged that she was coming. Let's rewind Dang. this a little bit. Let's rewind this just a little bit. To work. Time is just nobody saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. I apologize. The Cardi B. I, I want to say this before Joe Budden says this because I said this in my video that's still hemmed up and they trying to um, decide on monetization or not. I just want to say this. I notice when I get in front of the camera, I don't, I don't curse that much. So maybe that's something to do with it. But I still curse in a lot of my videos that get monetized. I don't understand it. But anyway, I want to say this. Cardi B, since she released the song Money. Since she released the song um, Please Me with Bruno Mars, those were all singles that were supposed to lead up to an album. So when Cardi says in that video that she has a hundred, hundred songs, you should have a hundred songs. You should. I'm not impressed. Not impressed at all. Let's go. Finish up your commentary, Joe Budden. Cardi B is afraid. And I'm tired of just nobody saying it. I say it all the time. Cardi B is scared to come out. It don't take this long to come out. Nikki is out now. They recently just found every year where she plugged that she was coming. Dating back to 2019. Mm -hmm. It's like six different slides. And Please different me. Years Money. Of you saying, hey, I have something coming. Even his freestyle was previewed a year ago. Huh? Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, come on, was, man. She was on live from somewhere and played this shit. This ain't, this ain't new off the stove. Hmm. Offset the other day in his story. Yeah. Yeah, I wish my baby would just drop. Offset so pretentious. He sh and the crazy thing about it is he said that knowing that Cardi B was coming, knowing that he shot that music video off the budget, knowing that he was chosen and selected and, they, and you know, and they shot it. You see how the games that they play? And you remember when Nicki Minaj released her album, when they was acting like they was having so many issues? These people are evil just to try to make it seem like it was something going on so they could distract away from Nicki. And people and so many of y'all try to make it seem like, oh, Nicki is pressed. She's this. She's that. No, she's defending her. She's defending her throne. And these people are so weird. These people is weird. Mm, I thought what that was are part you of the afraid of? of. Right. And I'm just thinking about how Cardi B has reacted to. Uh, 
tweets that she dislikes, just any comment that she dislikes, I I think that she's afraid to put a project out. Mm. Because the wave of... If Cardi B is scared to go on tour. You see what Nicki got out there, baby? It's a lot of hype online. That hype got to translate. Y'all ain't gonna wanna hear it from me, but the girl... Oh my God, why do it keep taking me back? And... I'm tired of just nobody saying. Say Cardi B is scared to come out. I ain't gonna stop it no more. To come out. They recently just found every year where she plugged that she was coming. Money and Please Me 2018 19. 2019. Let's go. It's like six different slides in different years of you saying, hey, I have something coming. Even this freestyle was previewed a year ago. Huh? Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, this was, she was on live from somewhere and played this shit. This ain't. This ain't new off the stove. Hmm. Offset the other day in his story. Yeah. yeah. I wish my baby would just drop. Hmm. I thought what that was are part you of the afraid seven? of. Right? And I'm just thinking about how Cardi B has reacted to uh, tweets that she dislikes. Just any comment that she dislikes. I, I think that she's afraid to put a project out. Hmm. Because the wave of... If you put a project out and it don't do what it's supposed to do, you're done so. Rates go down. Prices go down. Y'all ain't gonna wanna hear it from me, but the girl rapper... Wait, did he, did he punch... Did he say... Hold on. Offset the other day... In oh, yeah, story. that was it. So he said rates go down, prices go down. You know, she wanna make sure that she do her big one. She thought that this was... That this song, the precursor with the like what? The freestyle? And I'm sick of her saying like what? Trying to be popping like the other girls in New York City trying to say that and try to take it over because she's bigger. I'm sick of her doing that. I'm sick of her taking stuff and trying to run with it. Oh, I love female rap for real. I do. And I can tell when it's, some, it's somebody who's a culture vulture in it trying to just do any and everything just to be popping and be a part of it. I don't like it. I don't. I don't at all. So, um, Cardi, you know, she's scared to drop her album. Like, you know, because first I believe that she was waiting for Nikki. She she really was. It was this thing where she was waiting for Nikki. And then it was just like, now since Nikki is out and Nikki rolled out, it's like, well, I might as well come out now. I'm, you know, and I'm going to keep putting out music and I'm doing, it's like Nikki is low key her inspiration. Nikki couldn't wait around. Imagine waiting around for somebody who's not even like a rapper for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you just like, I believe there was a point where Nikki was just like, maybe Nikki was waiting to see what is she going to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? But Nikki, like, I'm the shit. Like, I don't need to wait for anybody to, like, put my music out. Whatever, right? So, Cardi, she's scared. Joe Buttons is, Button is right. And I just personally wish this, right? And I want this to come off the best way possible. And I try to make sure I say this together. I wish Cardi B's success to take care of her children. I know that she's gotten to a certain place in this industry. And she needs to be, like, you know... She needs to be protected. She needs to be taken care of. All of that, right? But I wish you get out of this game. I really wish you would. As long as you do what you do, I'm going to do commentary on it, though, right? But I wish that you freed up the ecosystem for talented black women who really have talent, who really have, like, a driving force within them, and they don't rely on the basketballs of guys to siphon and get their energy from and to create. Like, you have messed up the ecosystem so bad when it comes to music. And I can't, like, I say it all the time. Do a, Of course you deserve happiness. Of course you deserve a husband. You got kids and you've built, you know, of course you deserve uh, security, safe, to be safe and to be a certain, uh, you know, uh, what would I say? A great lifestyle? We all deserve that, you know? I ain't gonna say I want you at the pits enough of having nothing, but I hate what you've done to this game. You know, you have people try to be so focused on your fashions and everything in your songs that they don't realize how garbage it is. And you shouldn't have to learn from like this and try to be better and try to do this. This is not what your original... I know that you didn't dream to be a rapper growing up. This is something that you went to love in hip-hop and they concocted and they made you into a rapper. But I'm gonna let this go for right now because I really want to talk about about Nicki Minaj like I for, for real for real so listen let's talk about the Pink Friday 2 Gag City tour Nicki looked amazing yo she had that straight hair and that Chinese cut bang she came out to I'm the best then she went into Barbie Dangerous like Nicki looks so good I'm so proud and so you know proud of her like you know 17 years into her career everybody trying to talk down on her and all of that and you see like you seen the movement that was out there last night and she got 55 more shows and they still adding shows to her tour 
So as a fan, just seeing her move, like I'm very proud of her and she looked amazing. I felt like, you know, she definitely heard me when, you know, I said, I hope that she does the full song to Chun-Li. Chun-Li is so hard. And I like how she had the cost, the, um, the, she switched clothes for Chun-Li and all of that. She really did her big one on that. So I'm proud of Nikki in this tour. Um, what else? What else did I have? I didn't really have any critiques to it. See, I'm, I'm going to tell you this from a fan's perspective. I do have a critique from it. I understand how business is and like, you know, I even seen Beyonce on tour and they do these things where they're on stage and it's like they're on stage and they have to do these things for for is production or, you know, we don't know what Nikki is even if she's taping it and it's going to come out on a DVD. We really don't know. Right. But I know that she has to stand in certain spots for certain reasons. So what I want to say is, is that sometimes I want that feel like. The the biggest critique that I have, and it's not even that big, but it is big to me, is that third verse in Fallen, where she was still in that one space on the stage. I need her to be near the crowd. Picture me, picture that, picture me giving, picture the, just piggyback, picture using me in the bars and never giving back. Soon as I they saw the light, I turned the picture black. Ain't that the more, but between me and them, it's a gap. Like, I need her to be near the crowd for that part. I don't think she realized how potent that part of the song is. And it's like, she's too away from me. She's up there. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? She need to be close to the crowd so people could be like, yeah. Like, you know, that's the part of the song that we love. Picture me giving just slack. Picture pretending I get all the just piggyback. Picture using me and, the, and never giving back. It's like, she's too away from the crowd. You know, this was day one. I'm hoping that she will work on something and, um... You know, things will change. Even sometimes the set list change, you know. I'm happy that she had Winnegan in there. I'm happy that she performed Here I Am. One of my favorites. Why is it that you can only see the worst of me? I swear sometimes it feels like it me but to keep it all really kind of alert to me so i'm gonna tell myself that it works for me take a real long drive in the mercedes yeah i'm happy she did that she did right through me oh my god i love that song so much she did save me um i'm just trying to think of the songs that uh you know she did that she performed that she typically doesn't she performed favorite as well um, yeah, Nikki did her thing. I'm proud of her. I will be watching for updates every tour date that she do just to see like, you know, the different things that she changes uh, in regards to the set list or like, you know, if she improves on anything. Because, you know, day one is always day one. Like Beyonce, when she start her tour, she start them overseas. So any of the kinks, she 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 iron out the kinks like overseas. And by the time she hit the U.S. soil, it's like it's time to you know it's time to go even though Beyonce still do good overseas but what I wanted to say is is that with Nikki with this tour I'm so happy that she started in the U.S. because you remember uh when during her last tour it, she canceled the U.S. uh she canceled the U.S. leg so I'm happy she gave it to us first so we don't gotta wait and you know everybody overseas get it so I want to experience Nikki overseas too because overseas they have a different energy because they love hip-hop and then you know the celebrity is so far away from them so they go extra hard and turn up over there but all in all i love nikki's looks her 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 outfits were just phenomenal i love when she was performing to r&b and she was dropping it down and doing all of that yo nikki was on her she was on her shit nikki did her she did her thing and i'm so proud of her i'm so proud of her so i'm going to the houston date so i will be seeing nikki on may 9th so drop in the comments and let me know what date you're going to let me know what you loved about the tour let me know what you think about that part in the song Fallen too how did you feel about that like how do you feel about when artists are on the stage because look at nikki's stage it's production it's it's all of that so i know that she's recording something ain't no way you got no big huge stage built up like that and you ain't recording nothing that's not just going to be a tour and it's just going to go away i feel like nikki is recording something it's going to come out later though but let me know what you felt about that like with falling i feel like nikki need to be near she need to be on the edge of the stage picture dad picture me giving just slack picture pretending not getting all the just piggyback picture using me in the bars and never giving back soon as they thought they saw the light i turned the picture black ain't that the more but between me and them it's a gap picture saying that you the queen and knowing it's a fact picture my head giving wet and wavy strawberry dad yo matter of fact let me take that back before they steal that picture me opening up out oh, bitch i see you that picture them this is sick and like we bitches feel that she need to be on the edge of the stage about to fall over into the crowd 
I need to see people hands in the air and just rapping it word for word because that is passion right there. It's passion. It's passion. T. You know what I'm saying? So listen, this is your boy Laron Fimo Rapperly. Please get in the comments. Let me know what you think about what I talked about, what Cardi B like what. And then like she's trying to make this big thing about the whole coach thing um, with Cameron. Nobody don't care about this song like that. Two weeks, the most, it'll be out of here. Like, you know, she's just trying to set up shop for C for that song she got with Shakira. She hoped that that's going to be like Tusa and bring her Plusa. She hope it's going to do something big for her. Whatever. You still got to roll that album out and go on tour. And I think world tour are two words that scares the shit out of Cardi B. I think it scares her a lot. A lot. So listen, this is your boy Laurent Fimo Rapidly. Y'all be blessed. I hope that this goes up without any type of ad suitability or monetization issues or whatever. Be safe. I'm going to upload this right now. And yeah, I'm going to holla at y'all soon. Peace.